Disney just bought Fox and Ryan Reynolds and number 039, Deadpool is already in trouble. Disney CEO Bob Iger talks R-rated status of Deadpool as X-Men and Fantastic Four look to join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Marvel superhero fans were beside themselves with excitement on Thursday after the Disney Fox deal was announced, and there may be no bigger Marvel fan than Mr. Deadpool himself, aka Ryan Reynolds. The actor behind the beloved R-rated superhero was ready with a perfect response to the deal, completely in character with Deadpool's subversive personality. He posted an image of himself being escorted from the Disney Kingdom in handcuffs by security. As Disney finalized their deal to acquire most of 21st Century Fox, the move combines the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the X-Men and Fantastic Four under one roof for the first time ever. For Deadpool fans, that means he's ready to trade quips with Iron Man and Spider-Man in the MCU now. They had just one major concern. Deadpool is grass and vulgar, like R-rated vulgar, and Disney is, well, Disney. This isn't the first time Reynolds has lampooned Disney's wholesome public image. Last week, when news of the steal first broke, he tweeted, time to uncork that explosive sexual tension between Deadpool and Mickey Mouse. Disney CEO Bob Iger addressed the darker edge that Deadpool brings to the Marvel pantheon directly in a call with investors after the announcement was made. As long as we let the audiences know what's coming, we think we can manage that fine. Iger said in response to a question about the franchise's R rating, per The Hollywood Reporter. The decision makes sense, as Deadpool smashed expectations on its way to becoming the highest grossing film in the entire X-Men franchise with a worldwide gross of $783 million. With Disney's backing, it looks like he'll continue to offend more sensitive moviegoers for years to come. Meanwhile, Reynolds was also busy promoting the still-untitled Deadpool sequel, which welcomes Josh Brolin to the X-Men universe as Cable, on his Twitter feed Thursday ahead of its June 1 release in 2018.